Book and Book Chapter Citations, How to Recognize Them, brought to you by the John M. Fowle Library at California State University, San Bernardino. The information in this video applies to all citation styles. Many of the Fowle Library's databases will identify the items in your search results for you. However, you will encounter situations where no such help is given. The ability to identify book and book chapter citations as well as their individual parts is a valuable skill that will serve you well whether you are searching a database, filling out a worksheet assignment, or just checking automatically generated citations for errors. What is a citation? A citation is all the information required to accurately identify one particular article, book, chapter in a book, etc. Why are they important? Authors frequently need to consult and use the work, words, and ideas of other authors. Citations clarify for readers where the work, words, and ideas of the other authors come from. Citations also give you, the reader, the ability to find a particular article, book, book chapter, etc. Let's say that you're reading an article and it contains an interesting quote from a book. Uh, you realize that the book will have further information that you can use for your research paper. The citation is the key to finding that book. So this graphic is showing you the elements that make up the different citations for a book or a book chapter. On the left hand side, book, an entire book. You've got the title of the book, the author or editor, the place of publication, a publisher, and a year of publication. On the right hand side, book chapter. Since a book chapter is only part of a book, you need the information for the part, the chapter, as well as the information for the entire book that it comes from. And that's why these are rather long. So you've got the author of the chapter, the title of the chapter, the pages of the chapter for just the chapter, and then for the entire book, the same information as the book on the left. Inevitably, you will find that when you're citing a book chapter, uh, the book that it comes from has an editor rather than an author. Now I'd like to show you some sample citations from three different databases. Each database will display the citations differently, but the same basic elements are always there. To find entire books, your best bet is the OneSearch database. I've entered my keyword search, and when I do that, I get a drop-down menu, and I'm going to select Books and Media, CSUSB, so I can search all of the books here at the Fowl Library. And I've got 92 results, and I'm getting mixed results. Remember, we have Books and Media here. So over on the left-hand side, I'm going to come down and limit my research results to books and apply filter. So now we're looking at 85 results that are all books. The first one is an ebook. We know that because it says available online. The second one is in print, and we know that because it's giving a location, a floor location, and a call number. What we're seeing here is the title of the book, the author, and I should point out that 1949 is the year that this author was born, not the date that the book was published on. That date is 2016. Now we're still missing here on this screen the information for the place of publication and the publisher. So if I click on the title, I go to another screen where I can scroll down and find the place of publication and the publisher. And I'm going to go back. For the second item, we're seeing the same information, although we don't have a birth date for the author there. And we can do the same thing. Click on the title, go to the next screen, scroll down, and find the place of publication and the publisher. The OneSearch database not only lets you search books and media here at this library, 
but also books and media at all CSU libraries throughout the entire system. If you find a book uh, that's at another CSU library, you can request it through our CSU Plus service. And we will try and get that for you. Good to know. Next, I want to show you that same search, but in the Science Direct database. So I've entered my keyword search, and I'm clicking on search. Quite a few of our databases will include book chapters as well as articles. And with my keyword search, I've got over 5,000 results. Again, these are mixed results. And again, down on the left here, I can click in a box and select just book chapters. And I have 987 results. So what we're seeing in the list here is first some of the information on the individual chapter. That's the first line here. And on the second line, which is a little bit cut off there, that's what the three dots are telling us, uh, the information for the entire book that it comes from. If we click on the title of the chapter, we will go to the next screen where the information for the chapter is repeated. And up at the top, we have the information for the citation for the book. And what we're looking at here, there's the title of the book, the subtitle, the year of publication, and then the pages for this particular chapter. Last, I'd like to show you the JSTOR database. When I enter my search, again, I get a drop-down menu. But obviously, I don't want to search for an author that's called Tigers India. Maybe title. Not a publication name, though. I can go with just search for Tigers India if I click the search symbol. And again, I'm getting mixed results. And again, over on the left, I can click in a box for book chapters. And in JSTOR, we're seeing the information for the individual chapter here, the title of it, the page it said it's on, and then the information on the entire book. And clicking on that title of the chapter takes us to the next screen where we can start reading that chapter. And on the left, we've got the information for the publisher of the entire book. So how can you tell one kind of citation from another? I've got three examples here, one of each, the ones that we've been talking about. And these happen to be in the APA 7th edition format. Uh, for a book, you're always going to have an author or authors, sometimes an editor, a year of publication, the title of the book, and a publisher. For the book chapter, you're always going to have the information for the individual chapter and the author of that, as well as the information for the entire book. And one of the things to look for is the word in. Notice that the book chapter citation here says, In Frontiers of Fear. This is the title of the entire book, Frontiers of Fear. Page 39 is the page that the book chapter that we're referencing starts on. And again, you've got a, a, a publisher here, Yale University Press. Now, if you take a look at the article citation, you're going to see a few things that are different. You'll still have an author. You'll still have a title. But this time, it's going to be the title of the article. You will not have a publisher. You will have the title of a journal. Here it's Political Geography. And you'll always have at least a volume number. Here it's 69. You may also have an issue number. This particular uh, example does not have an issue number. And hopefully, that will give you some comparison that you can rely on. For more detailed help with APA, MLA, or Chicago Style, check our workshops on our website, 
there's a big button here for workshops. You can get to a calendar and see what we're offering, what live workshops we're offering, and register for those. You'll also have access to any that we have recorded. Another good place to check is our collection of library guides. And when you click on that button, the section you would want to look at is the one for citing and writing. The end. Thanks for watching.